Greetings beloved ones, as the new age dawns in each of your hearts, there is a freeing up from old ways of living in human form and an opening to a new experience of humanity. The crossover into this new experience happens in fits and starts. You thrust forward, you experience a new sense of openness, spaciousness, possibility. You acclimate to that level of expansion, you get frustrated and even ornery wondering what happened, and then you expand again. As you begin to realize the spiraling nature of expansion you wonder how you can persist more and more in the energy that you enjoy, in the state of being that feels so good. And so it is with this longing in mind that we speak with you today. It is as I just described, first and foremost, an evolutionary process. And within this process you must allow your body your physical body to build its capacity for the new formation of life. This is being directed from within you, from the very pure template of your essence blueprint and the fullness of your DNA, so there is no need to work at it, or worry about it. Still there are things you can do actively with your consciousness to participate in this expansion with greater joy and a sense of collaboration. Life expands in radiant spirals of wholeness. I have shared this more and more in different ways recently because it is a key understanding. What this means is that you expand in all directions and in doing so, you revisit versions of your experience and ideally to experience your wholeness in an expanded way. The way to get something to fade into the distance, is to expand beyond it, meaning, including it in the experience of you, with a neutralness that allows it to be within the whole inclusively with love as you continue to dance and flow and evolve. The reason that knowing you expand radiantly in spirals is important and can assist you with your focus, if you wish to play smile is that you cannot expand and open up more and more of your abundance if, for example, you are closed in your human relationships. To say it differently, you can expand only as much or as far as the least neutral area of your life, allows you to expand. In the areas of your life where you find it very hard to be self-loving, neutral, not critical, not pitting one thing as better than another, or against another, in these areas of your life, if you were to bring your own generous heart to self-loving you would empower yourself to more graceful and more accelerated expansion. As you experience the realization of neutrality in any area of your life, you have the ability to discover how love-filled, abundant and fulfilling life can be. You can use this realization to begin to expect this type of experience in other areas of your life. You can pay more attention to these areas with a focus upon noticing how you relate to you. The way that you relate to you, sets your energy standards. Creates, in fact the field you are broadcasting and which summons your life into conscious connection in form. So it is within your power to relate to yourself more and more with a neutral meaning open, non-judging, curious appreciation and this will greatly assist you in experiencing your own wholeness. You are innately whole. There is nothing that needs to be fixed or healed. These are old ideas from an old paradigm of life that you have opened up. You have the ability to step into a new paradigm of life in which you live from unity, the wholeness you are. The real question is, are you doing this? Do you take your spiritual awakening seriously? Are you living from the fullness of what you know to be true? Have you given yourself permission to let go of what is of the old patterns? Ideas that you will be rescued by this or that non-physical energy, this or that guru, this or that financial aid package, or relationship that validates your worth, these hold you back from joy. They are big looping detours in which you will eventually have the chance to see how much you've given your power away. So you choose how to play in all this and for any of you in these detours, recognize the value in them and allow yourself to harvest richly, and step out of them fully sovereign self-referencing for guidance and well-being. Any way in which you allow yourself to feel you need a healer, any leaders in the spiritual world, the health world, the psychological world, in all the different domains of assistance on your planet, any leaders within these domains who are still speaking to you of healing, have not yet caught up with the leading edge in their own life. See this clearly. Anyone in the healing game or encouraging you to believe in the rescue game is not wrong they are simply still on their own looping detour to reclaim their sovereignty and live from their own leading edge. You don't have to wait for them to discover this to orient their yourself. The ultimate destination which is available to you all whenever you're ready to be in charge of your life, 
is your own leading edge. There are many people in your world who have not yet claimed the truth they have already experienced. It takes more courage or self-confidence than they are yet ready to live from. Bless them. Bless yourself if this is you. Be neutral toward them, yet see all this clearly. If this is you, and you want to experience more courage, more strength, then call upon the fullness of your being, and the angels and archangels, the ascended masters to assist you. Focus upon discovering this quality in your life. It is essential to learn to live from your heart authentically and with consistency in order to harvest the joy of the new harmonics in your own experience. The leading edge of life is lit with gold and ripples with expansive potential. Where is this place? It is the place at which you have the greatest experiences in form and where you inform the material with spirit. It is the edge between the material and the energy of pure potential. This is the leading edge the frontier of your experience. For each of you this frontier will look and feel different. It will express the culmination of your experiences in focus, made manifest in the material and then you stand in your neutrality, in your willingness to be present in the moment and yet holding on to nothing, as a bridge between matter and spirit, choosing what to give your attention to, thereby extending your own boundaries of being and expression, or playing within the same field over and over again. You choose. You create. You experience. You are flow. You are life. You are exhilarated and radiant. This is where I suggest you begin to return every time things feel less than wonderful, and learn to orient and play. The way to orient is that it is at the edge of what is known. To get into this orientation, allow yourself to open to life without knowing what's going to happen. Really getting that life is spontaneous, continually invented and experienced and in this fluidity, preciously temporary and beautiful. When you begin to have this lightness of touch toward each moment you are in this space of merging heaven and earth and you have claimed in that moment, the mantle of your earthly existence. The purity of the new age arises in each of these moments of realization and this jolt of insight, this incredible joy of seeing things clearly is the ascending energy. When you feel it you are current. And this, dear ones, is where you really truly want to be. Realize that this will be a perpetual experience of cultivation and opening. You will discover what distracts you from this and you will then have a choice, do you integrate the realizations you have? Allowing them to change how you live, what you pay attention to. Or not. Again, there is no right or wrong pathways, but they are different pathways and they have different roots and thus you will have different experiences. These are often called timelines. The reality is, there are infinite timelines available to you in each and every moment. You can step off of one into another anytime you wish. This is all done with attention, the alchemy of your focus. For what you perceive creates your view, and your view informs your perspective and within all of this you are free. Free always, to do the only thing which creates anything choose your perspective. The cycles of upliftment will continue, and the greatest of these will happen over the next year and a half, while Earth is within the center of the galactic band. By the end of this time you will have had access to universal energies and streams of light that far exceed prior potentials for life on Earth. What you do with all of this is up to you. One choice is not better than another. They are all simply different. Within this difference, within the immense diversity of your world, your clarity is key. Your courage to live from your heart and your own true knowing, is key. And your strength, your willingness to learn to express your mastery in form, is key. Keys to what? Keys to how much newness you will experience and how much newness you personally will be part of creating. The earth itself is expressing in newness. This will continue in well-being and expansion as you too continue in well-being to expand radiantly and spiraling into more and more. So as with you, the earth will be focused upon the most potential for change, which lies in the areas of greatest limitation. Greatest density. And these areas of life will be loosened up and shaken free from the old and rise up into new, more spacious expressions. Do not be concerned about this, for the earth's consciousness as your own wants the best for everyone and everything. And you yourself, control your experience in your sovereignty and so all is within your reach as you decide what path to take, 
how direct versus how much of a deter, and there is value in all of it. Living within the new harmonics of consciousness is an act of invention. You will be presented with many opportunities to live differently. Your own fullness of being will open for you and present to you, the ideas and inspiration, the openings and experiences which give you vision of new ways of being. Realize that in your willing participation, allowing all that you are to guide you more and more, you take up residency in that space I described earlier on your own frontier. In this realm of focus where you live within the material but very consciously multidimensional, you let yourself be fluid. You let yourself step into newness and let it be what it is for you. You let yourself orient to your heart and to realizing that life is all beautiful and full of the potential to meet you perfectly. You begin to look for the perfection in each interaction, in each experience, aha! Now you have expanded into the fullness of you. You are meeting life with the knowing eyes of a powerful creator and realizing the perfection, the innate purity within everything. And in doing this, all of life is uplifted by you, in you, through your presence and experience. Because as you look this way, as you participate this way, you tune to the universal within life. All of life, right now, is seeking expression of its purity. Purity is an undiluted, undistorted expression of essence. Purity means something that is only itself, nothing else. Perhaps you could let yourself live as purely you? With no need to please or to care of others' opinions of you and your life. Perhaps you could envision every aspect of your world, your civilization, your culture, all the jobs and functions, uplifted into the a pure expression of their essence? As you step into this new way of being in relationship to yourself, there will be a lot of change. And it is this change that you all long for and expect to happen. And yet, like all change, it happens quietly, within you, and then is reflected in the expansion of your experience and the formation of matter. You are returning humanity to an experience of conscious multidimensionality. You are doing this from within the experience, from an immersion in a veiled world and an ability to find your way amidst all of this and spiral outward beyond it into a larger dimensional experience of unity and the universal wholeness of all life. This is epic. It cannot be said often enough how enormously exhilarating this collective collaboration of the divine plan being expressed by humanity and the earth, is to the one. Recognize that your own ability to be loyal to your leading edge, is your own ability to be fulfilled, experience your innate wholeness and consciously participate in this amazing experience. I am with you always. It is a great joy to participate with you in this endless opening to more love. I am Archangel Michael.